Okay, so it's just uh, that, and I know there's a way to make it hover. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Regrowth Reloaded. Okay. So, I figured out the issue that we were having with the printing press. It does work in this version of the pack. The problem is that I was using Optifine, which um, is a wonderful mod for a lot of things that it does, but it also kind of breaks other things. So, I turned off Optifine. Instead, I installed another mod called Better FPS to see if that helps us with our, our frame rates. Um, so now if we come in here, let me go ahead and grab my reading glasses. And we're gonna go ahead and put those on. And we come over to our printing press. You can see now it says seven chases, select a book. Uh, the press itself says there's 30 ink in there. I did manage to put some in there. You gotta put it on that little spot right there in the back. Kinda of weird. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this works. Now I need to get myself a couple of empty books. So let me come over here. Book. Let me grab like two of them. Put the rest of those back. And what I'm going to do then is uh, we're going to come here and you're going to take a book that you want. And I'm going to do this um, looting and efficiency book. I've got the sharpness book as well. I want to put that on this sword here. Um, I can't put it on that uh, cutlass that we made. We can't, uh, for some reason, enchant the tinker's tools. But uh, let's go ahead and put that there. Now it says looting to efficiency five. And it's going to take 46 levels to do this. Now, here's the thing. The um, experience drops will only get you up to level 30. Everything else, you're just going to have to do it using uh, either these essence berries or using making some bottles of enchanting. So let me get up to 46 levels here. Thirty-eight, uh, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six. Okay, so we got our forty-six levels. And then it is shift click on there, and that makes our plate. And you take your plate and you're gonna put it in here. Did that just get the looting too? I hope so. I didn't really want the other part of it. And then you put an empty book here. You can do this three times and then the, the plate will be destroyed. But there's a way around that as well. That's it, that it still put the efficiency on there. That's all right. So if you want to, you can continue using this plate. You just take it off of there, go up to the blacksmith's anvil, put it on there, um, hit it. Uh, a couple of times with the hammer and that will repair it and then you can continue to use that particular chase. So let me go ahead and pop it out of there. You can see that there it's kind of been used a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. And you can see there's one here. I did Feather Falling 3. So I went ahead and I made two Feather Falling 3 books. Combined those together to make Feather Falling 4. And then I use the spellbinding cloth to remove the enchantments off of my boots and then redo them so now it is protection for feather falling for. So 
the idea here now is we're going to come in here we have our two looting two books and we're going to combine those together in here it's going to take 10 levels so let me go ahead and um, get us up to 10 levels combine those together now we've got a looting three efficiency five book all right so now we should be able to do this. Let me come over here, grab my wand of the forest. See, it kind of shows this stuff too. It's interesting. Using those glasses. All right, so let's go ahead and take our Terra Blade, put it on here. Get our two books. Put them down here. There's our enchanting book. That one and that one. Hit this with the wand. Let it charge up. Our Terra Blade now has Looting 3 Sharpness 5 on it. Fantastic. So I can put these books away now. And that's how that works. So you just come in here, make a bunch of low level enchants, combine your books together, get something decent, and then you can duplicate them in the printing press. So let's um, let me show you now how the spellbinding cloth works. Since I have something, I don't have it on me. Thought I did. Let me go ahead and grab this spellbinding cloth. And let's put these orbs away or the berries away. And let's head over to my little AFK spot that is underneath the mob farm. And in here we've got a pair of leather pants here that are enchanted. They've got protection 2 on breaking 3 thorns 1 on them. We, we, I'm just going to void them anyways, but I just want to show you how this works. You combine that with that. Now we've got regular old leather pants. I'm just going to get rid of. Um, you can also repair those on the blacksmith's anvil as well as, you know, any of the gold stuff that gets dropped. Uh, as And chain mail and whatnot, you can repair those on the blacksmith's anvil and then take those items and chuck them into the Tinker's Smeltery and get back extra gold out of it. Now it does take levels to do that, but uh, you know if you need a little bit of free gold for some reason, that's an uh, easy way to get it. All right, let me uh, go ahead and put this stuff away and I'll be right back with you. All right, we're back here in our storage area and as you can see, I kind of uh, went ahead and I filled the area up. I put in some uh, single drawers on this side, filled this up with the four drawers here and in the middle here these are just those uh, trim pieces we have used in the corner just to fill in those spots and then I made um, some some facades out of the trim as well to put behind here so it kind of makes it look like a nice paneled wall so there's that um, so what I want to do today is we want to get back into doing some of our quests so let's uh, go to chapter 14 where we were leaving off at and we were on this one here for induction storage. Let's take a look at that again. That energy cell that you've got there is rather cute. How would you like to be able to store way more? If so, then the induction matrix is for you. At its simplest, it can store about eight times as much power as an ultimate energy cubes. 
Okay, so an induction matrix is a multi-block structure that can go from 3 by 3 by 4 up to 18 by 18 by 18. The external walls must be formed of induction casings and or ports, with the ports not placeable on the edges. The ports are where power is input and output from the matrix. Internal blocks can be any combination of induction cells, induction providers, or air, as long as there is at least one cell and provider. Providers determine the I.O. rate of the power transfer, while cells determine the capacity of how much energy the cell can hold. So we're essentially making a jumbo battery. Now I've already done some of this. I made um, 15 of the 16 induction casings, and then I've left these other things here because these two pieces require uh, lithium dust, which we're going to have to make today as well. So I think before we can get into this, we need to get the piece that we need to do the lithium dust. Let's take a look at this. There's lithium dust and, and uh, energy tablets around a basic energy cube. Uh, the lithium dust is made in a chemical crystallizer which we don't have. So let's uh, go ahead and see what it's going to take to make a chemical crystallizer. Chemical crystallizer is right there. And that is two ultimate control circuits, which we know how to make. Atomic alloys, which we know how to make. Steel casing, we know how to make that. Basic fluid tanks. Um, yeah, we know how to make those because we use them for other things. Energy tablets, we know how to do that. Sheets of titanium. Uh, personal chest is the only thing we don't know how to make. So let's take a look at that. And that is a basic control circuit. We know how to make those two chests, one, two, three, four, and five steel ingots. We have plenty of steel. I've been working on that. So let's go ahead and make a personal chest real quick. And I don't really know what, I think these are just like a chest that only you can get into. So. Let's go ahead and toss that in there. Come back into our chemical crystallizer. Now everything else I already have in the system. We have some basic fluid tanks. I made up a bunch of them to make um, this induction thing. Uh, we've got everything else in here as well. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, what are we missing? The basic fluid tank. Okay. Okay. Basic, not GASIC, basic fluid tank. I've got 16 of them. I just need one. I'm going to put that in there. That's because these things don't stack. So there we go. We have our chemical crystallizer. So let's go ahead and clear that out. And then I think what we're going to need, I've never used one of these, so... Uh, let's see, we're going to need, let me get some stack of ultimate universal cables and uh, I don't have that many mechanical pipes. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and take all of those. We might not need that much for this, but we, I believe we are going to need to hook it up to power and we're going to have to hook it up to our lithium production outside. So let me sleep real quick and then I'll meet you out there by our lithium tank. All right, as you can see, I built a second uh, thermal evaporation unit. It was just taking way too long to keep switching back and forth between the two to, to make um, the brine and then switch it over to make uh, lithium then switch it back to make more brine and so on and so forth so I just this one over here does nothing but make brine so we can see that it is completely filled with brine and this one over here does nothing but make lithium so um, with that in mind we have our both of our tanks in the back are completely filled one with brine and one with lithium uh, there's a creeper over there just want to caught my eye here all right so what I think we're gonna have to do let me go ahead and um, get our 
chemical crystallites. Oh, when I came out the gate, there was a witch standing there, so I uh, caught her real quick. So, chemical crystallizer. Let's go ahead and put that down there. It looks like it's an input, so let me get my configurator. Let's put this in rotate, maybe. There we go. I don't know if that's a power input or if that is something else. So let's go ahead and see. We're going to use our mechanical pipe. Connect it there. Okay, that doesn't seem to attach to that. So let's try rotating this. Nope. All right, do we have any type of UI on this thing? Okay, so it's empty there. Let's see. That back in wrench. Move that. Let's see, will it attach to the top? No, it does not. Huh. How am I supposed to get that into there then? Hmm. Let's take a look at this again. Let's see. Front. That's the front. That's the top. So energy in the top. Gas purple. Alright. Let's see if we can change this. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out how to set up the chemical crystallizer. And, um, yeah. And it puts a damper on what I was wanting to do here. So, um, oh goodness, there's one of those withered witch cats. With the witch over here, then I don't think maybe it was one that I killed. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> um. Okay, so let me figure out the chemical crystallizer, and I'll be right back with you. All right, we're back down here in the storage unit. Um, we need to make what is known as a rotary condensator in order to. Um, process the liquid lithium into lithium which is then converted into the chemical crystallizer Phew. okay so let's see what this is rotary 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 condensator is that rotary phone Okay, and that is two advanced control panels. We know how to make that. Glass, basic gas tank, which we haven't made yet. Basic fluid tank, steel casing, steel plates, and an energy tablet. So let's go ahead and do the basic gas tank. And that is steel plates, osmium plates, and iron dust. Don't have any iron dust in the system, I don't believe. So let's go ahead and make that real quick. Just go ahead and grab a stack of iron. Come over here to our crusher. Go ahead and toss that in there. And go ahead and grab a piece of uh, iron dust real quick. There we go. And then we're going to come back in here, toss this in the system. And let's come back in, look at our rotary condensate, our OTA. Is that rotational complex? Okay. Basic gas tank. There we go. Go ahead and toss that in there. Come back in here. Uh, let's go ahead and shift click. Okay, what is missing now? 
advanced control circuits. How many of those do I have? Do I not have any of them? I have none. Okay. We can make those real quick. Advanced control circuits. Let's go ahead and make 10 of them. I am missing two osmium plates. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's get a stack of osmium. Or to the rolling machine. Get that in there. Get that started. Okay, go and grab four of those just to get us by. And then we can put that back in there. Let's see if we have everything now. Oh, we were doing the. Oh, we got those crafting up. What are we missing now? Oh, that was on those. Uh. Advanced control circuits. There we go. Ten. I thought I threw, did I not throw the osmium in there? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've got to get all this stuff moved into this <laughs> system. Figure out ways to automate all these um, rolling machines and whatnot. Um, just so we don't have to keep running back and forth here. Is all that done? Okay. All right, so let's try this again. Osmium plates, iron dust, craft those, 10 of them, next, start. Okay, we've got our 10 advanced control circuits. The rotary condensator. And that is because we don't have the, we need that here. And where is that fluid tank? We need one of those there. Is that right? Oh, just got them backwards. There we go. Now we've got a rotary condensing trader. Oh my goodness. All right. So, let's see. It's probably nighttime again. And it is. So let's go sleep real quick. All right. Let's head back over to our area there. See if we can get this figured out. All right, so. Oh, great. All right, let's try this again. Let me go ahead and pick this thing up. What is our configurator set to? Good items, gases, energy, heat, empty, rotate, wrench. Let's go ahead and take that off of there. Bring it down. 
Let's see, is this our rotary condensator? It is. Let's go ahead and attach that there. Looks like um, that needs to let me rotate this. It doesn't want to attach to that. Oh, maybe it's the wrong side. I change this rotate but there we go finally all right so let's put this back into configure eight. we want this to be pull this to be push And then the output is there. So let's go ahead and put down our chemical crystallizer. That looks like that would be the input side. So let's go ahead and attach the cable. There. You know what? I think this needs. Oh my goodness. Let me go ahead and run some power over this real quick before we do anything else. I think I need pressurized tubes because now we're going to be dealing with gases. Stairs real quick and we'll try this again. We'll take the shortcut here. Okay, let's try this here. Let's look up basic pressurized tube. And that is two steel and glass. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab eight of those. And it's probably the same with the others as um, far as advanced, elite, and ultimate. So let's run back upstairs and try this again. Take our shortcut. Back through our mana generation. Close that so we don't have anything coming in that way. Let's see, can we connect that? Okay, that connects there. Let's see, uh, I might have to rotate this. This is energy, heat, can rotate. Come on. Okay. Right, we're going 
try it this way then. Hold that that attach there. Oh, that's the universe. That's the power. I am so sorry. This is just annoying the heck out of me. Um, okay, now that hooks up. All right, so let's see. Rotary condensing trader. Let's see, does it need to go into D condensing trading? Okay. Okay, yeah, so that is turning liquid lithium into regular lithium piping it into here and that is making our lithium dust oh my goodness all this for eight pieces of lithium dust so let me let this do its thing I'm gonna clean up my inventory and I'll be right back with you all right we got our we got 12 lithium dust which is good we'll just go ahead and grab those let this thing do its thing and it's there if we need it so let's head back and let's uh, get the stuff that we need to go here. Oh, you notice I took the laser down. It's downstairs now. I think I, I don't remember if I showed that in the last episode or not. Let me kind of show you what I did a little bit down here. Um, so in this area here, um, I went ahead and put the lasers here. So we got our tables there so we can do everything downstairs. Over here, I've kind of set up a basic ore doubling. I was just testing it. So you run your ores into an enriching enrichment chamber, and then that is connected to a smelting factory, and that will double your ores. Now, there's a way of tripling your ores, but you have to build a few more machines, and we really don't need to do that. We, we have an unlimited supply of ores, so doubling them, tripling them is, is you know, not really necessary. But um, we have that ability, so let me go ahead and put this lithium dust in here. There we go. And then let's come back into here, and let's look at our book. All right, so let's come back into this, and we're going to start off with our induction casings, and this is four steel plates and an energy tablet, and that will give you one induction casing. So, induction casing, we have 15 of them already. I want to craft one more. I've got some uh, energy tablets in the system. There we go. We've got our 16. All right next thing we need is the induction port now this is four induction casings and an elite control circuit how many of those did we need two of them so let's take a look in here induction port induct induction port one recipe that will make two of them so there we go we've got our two induction ports let's go ahead and toss those in there all right, next we need basic induction cell. And let's take a look at that. That is a basic energy cube, four lithium dust, and four energy tablets. So let's go ahead and get our basic energy cube. We've got two of them in here. How did I get two of them? I don't know. That's the... The full one we have so let me just go ahead and grab one of those I don't know how I wound up with two more of them um, I must have made them somewhere uh, so uh, and what was that thing called again now these are basic induction cells basic induction cell I need one of those Okay, I guess I could have just left that in there. 
go ahead and toss that induction cell in there. And the last thing we need is a basic induction provider. So basic induction provider. And this is another, and oh, another energy cube. Is that right? Yeah, okay, so the first one was, was energy tablets, and this one is with basic control circuits, which basic control circuits. Let me go ahead and craft 10 of those. Got everything, go ahead and start. That dude's thing, coming back in here, shift click, there we go we have our basic induction provider. Take a look at our quest, and our reward is 16 more induction casings. Oh, we did evaporate. Uh, getting gassy is the next piece here. Let me go ahead and toss these in here. And we'll put that thing together. Um, Essentially, what that is going to be for is they're trying to lead us down the path um, to create a, a, a nuclear generator, basically. Uh, so, uh, uh, and you need a lot of power in order to get that thing started up. So, let's come back in here. We're going to look at getting gassy. Working with fluids is all well and good but some more advanced mechanical processes could benefit from production of various gases. The simplest such operation is the separation of water into hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, so an electrolytic separator will do the job and maybe down the line a few other separations too. Unfortunately, gas also need dedicated pipelines to transport it effectively along with dedicated gas tanks for storage if not being used straight away. So, we've already made a basic gas tank, and this has given us uh, two of them as a reward. We've made basic pressurized tubes, so the next thing we need is the electrolytic separator. Let's take a look at that. And we have two advanced control cores. We need another basic gas tank, a basic fluid tank, energy tablet, two steel plates, steel casing, and an electrolytic core. Let's take a look at that. That is enriched alloy, osmium dust, which I don't think I have, iron chipset, gold dust, enriched alloy, iron chipset. So we need some gold dust and some osmium dust. So let's go ahead and grind some of that up real quick. Osmium dust, osmium and gold. All right, let me toss these in here and I'll be right back with you as soon as this is ready. Okay, um, my goodness, uh, that was a lot of work. Well, not really, I just, I, I went ahead and did the osmium dust and the gold dust, and while I was at it, I went ahead and did some uh, steel dust, and just in case we needed it as well. So, we need the electrolytic, elect, Electrolytic separator. Electrolytic separator. This might help if I spell it right. So let's start off here. We need the, the electrolytic core. And let's see if we got everything now to do this. We do. We got that. Go ahead and toss that in there. Um, basic gas tank, we're going to need to make another one of those. Put that in here. And let's come back in here. Let's ship this into here. It's going to... I need more steel plates. <sighs> Grumble, grumble, moan, moan. All right. Make some steel plates real quick. Only need one. Go ahead and grab those. Let the rest of that finish up. All right. Let's 
steel plate, basic gas tank, and then it's basic. Then maybe these are reversed. There we go. Electrolytic separator. All right. Let's take a look at our quest now. We got that. We get a two filled basic tanks. One's probably hydrogen. One's probably oxygen. So let's go ahead and claim our reward there. Let's take a look at these real quick. See what they are. Hydrogen, yes. Oxygen, yes. So we will um, set that thing up later. Um, let me just go ahead and put that in here. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, remember this stuff that we found in, in our quests, uh, the quest maps? Um, I didn't realize this now. This is an Everfull urn. You put that down next to a cauldron. Um, it's mostly used for Thomcraft, but I believe it would work with the Witchery Cauldron as well. And maybe even with this one here. And it will keep it filled with water at all times. Let's go ahead and try that real quick. Um, and then this thing here says the stamp is obscured by dirt, wash it in a cauldron. So that won't hurt. So let's go ahead and just, for the time being, we'll set that down. We'll set this down. And let's see, does it fill this cauldron up? Yeah, it doesn't look like it works with vanilla cauldrons. That's all right. Let's uh, go ahead and get a bucket of water. We can do this. There we go. We got the water stuff, so let's go ahead and do that. see what these stamps are I have no idea clay pattern stamps pottery patterns creepy castle Savannah all right well, yeah, whatever <laughs> let's go ahead and toss those in there we might use them we might not we'll put that ever full urn in there as well and we'll go ahead and put this cauldron in there as well All right, so we got uh, one last thing that I would like to do, and that is um, to create ourselves a jetpack. Now we are going to eventually get some regular um, creative flight, but we have to defeat the the Gaia Guardian, the Elder Dragon, Ender Dragon, and the Wither first <laughs> before we can even get that stuff to do that. But uh, we can kind of. Um, do a jetpack instead uh, for the time being. So let's uh, see if we got everything that we need for the jetpack. So you got a jetpack and then you've got an armored jetpack. So you have to create a regular jetpack first before you can armor it. These two are creative because they're just filled. So let's take a look at this. And this is two steel ingots, three tin ingots, a basic gas tank, and a basic control circuit. Hopefully I got enough basic control circuit. So we're going to have to create the gas tank again. So let's go ahead and um, run and get more steel plates. Thankfully I did a whole stack of that. So let's go ahead and grab all of them. There we go. Toss those back in there. Actually, we can just do this. Get our basic gas tank. And then let's look at our jet pack again. Put that in there. And we have a jet pack. Cool. Let's go ahead and make it armored. And that is two diamond dust, two bronze ingots, a steel block, and our jet pack. Okay, yeah, we've already got some diamond dust. Um, I had to grind that down for some other something else. So now we have an armored jetpack. Let's see, tank. Gas tank. 
I put them in here? Oh, I do. Okay, so uh, how does this work now? Uh, basic gas tank. Hydrogen. All right. So you have to fill the jetpack with hydrogen. So can I put this in here? Yes, I can. How much does this thing hold? I don't know. Let's see if we can figure this out. I've never used a jetpack before, so I don't really know all the, the key commands for it. So let's just go ahead and pull that out of there for now. That should be enough. And then this gets put in our chest plate area. And let's, okay, it's mode is regular. Let's go sleep real quick. And then let's give this a shot and see what it does. Okay, so it's just uh, that. And I know there's a way to make it hover. I don't know what that key is off the top of my head. Uh, I'll figure that out and uh, we'll, we'll try it out in the next episode. Okay, well, that's it for this episode. I know it was kind of um, uh, a derpy episode. Uh, things just weren't working out right. But we got everything to work eventually. We got our uh, uh, the printing press going, so I can show you that. We got the um, induction storage system, um, everything built there. We've got our uh, lithium with the crystal chamber thing and the... the rotary condensator built uh we built our electrolytic separ separator we built a, a jetpack so we can uh, fly now uh so uh in the next episode it's going to be episode 50 so if everything goes to plan i'm planning on at least battling the wither in that one and to be honest with you it's really my first ever wither battle um i kind of did one once in the xbox and that did not go well. So let's see if I can survive it. So until next time, this is Desert Rat. Have a good one. Goodbye.